everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make your own Vera Bradley bag out of a Vera Bradley placemat. Ah, it is so cool. My mom's friend came up with this pattern. She's a genius. It's so amazing. Um, so one of these placemats is about seven to ten dollars, and one of these bags around uh, is around thirty thirty five dollars. So you can make your own bag for a third of the price of a real bag, and it looks almost like a real one. So I hope you guys like this DIY. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. So start off with a Vera Bradley placemat, or any placemat, and some zippers that match the placemat, and a colorful assortment of threads that match the placemat that you have. You're also going to need some ribbons, and some pins, scissors, and a sewing machine, and a ruler. Then you're going to uh, place the placemat with the side you want facing up, facing up. And then you're going to line up the zipper along the shorter side with some hanging over. Then you're going to pin the zipper to the placemat. Now you're going to sew along the seam of the placemat, connecting the zipper with the placemat, removing the pins as you go. And the placemat has a really nice seam already, so you just kind of follow that seam. When you get to the end, you're going to sew backwards and then forwards again to kind of like knot it kind of. And then you're going to fold the placemat thing into this thing. I don't know. And you're going to pin one side to the zipper and then you're going to unzip the zipper. Seeing how the pin is holding one side of the zipper to the other side of the placemat. Now you're going to kind of tuck part of the placemat under the sewing machine, remove the pin, and sew the next side, next short side to the zipper. You're going to get to the end and sew back and forth. Now you're going to zip the zipper back up. And now you're going to turn it inside out. Ah, hey! <laughs> Alright, now you're going to just kind of smooth it out. And you're going to measure each side along the zipper just to make sure it's equal. I was about four and a half inches. Now you're going to pin the whole placemat both sides together. And now you're going to measure five inches of ribbon. And you're going to cut that and you're going to make a loop. And now you're going to tuck this loop like so, uh, very much along the middle of the bag. And you're going to sew that side of the bag. So right underneath that zipper part is the yellow ribbon and you're sewing that in and that's the little loop that goes on the end of the bag. All right, and you're going to sew to the end and do the whole backwards forwards thing. All right, now you're going to remove the pins and you're going to unzip the bag because if you don't, you're going to have trouble finishing the bag so you won't be able to unfold it. And now you're going to pin again <laughs> and going to fold along the other long side. Removing the pins as you go. I think I forgot to remove the pin on that one. Oops. <laughs> so you're just going to keep sewing. And yay. So now you're going to remove the pins again. And you're going to make corners now. Because now we want the bag to be able to stand up. So you're going to kind of like squeeze the corner of the bag. So you get this kind of thing. And you're going to put a tape marker. And you want that corner of your corner to match up with that tape marker. So that way you have even corners for all corners of your bag. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> um, right, so you're keeping your corner along the blue tape because you want all your corners to be equal. So we're going to sew all, sew all four corners. And now we're going to snip off any excess thread and make it all pretty. And now we're going to turn it right side out. And yay, you have your bag! And you could pretty much be done now, but I want to make a little zipper pull to make it perfecto. So we're going to put a ribbon through the zipper thing, which is actually kind of hard. I was struggling. Um, yeah. Now we're going to sew along there, and now you have your zipper pull thing. And this bag can have cosmetics, hairbrush. You can use it for a toiletries case when you're going on vacation. It's great. So I have another bag I was working on, and I skipped uh, to this step. So I have my tube, and now I measured the sides to make sure they're even. And now I'm just sewing the short sides. Now I'm going to measure 5 inches of ribbon, and I'm going to loop that. I'm going to place it inside the bag backwards. And I'm going to pin that in place. I forgot to show that in my last, uh, the green pattern. And we're going to pin that struggles okay and then I'm just gonna sew along that short side 
And this is how it looks if you don't sew the corners. So it's kind of cool still. Now, this is how you do the corners. You squeeze and then kind of press down, squeeze, and then just kind of smooth out. We're going to sew along all of the four corners. Now we're going to turn the bag right side out. I love this pattern so much. Yay, it's so cool. And you can marvel at your excellence of crafting. Now we're going to do a zipper pull again if you want to. And you're going to clip off excess threads and you're done. This could be, you know, could have some school supplies, whatever you want. It's pretty pretty cool. Right. I hope you liked that tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, just comment below and have a great day.